golf is Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. So if you're anything like me, you're probably stuck home at this time watching all these videos that people are posting on social media, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, you've got your phone out, you've got your iPad out, you're watching all these videos, all these golf tip videos. So how do you know which tips are worth watching and which aren't? So this series is kind of there to kind of educate you guys. So for this first video, and the way I'm gonna structure these videos, I'm gonna have a list of pros and cons. But instead of calling it a pros and cons list, I'm gonna call it swipe left or swipe right. So some of you guys and girls out there watching, you've been on the apps, you swipe left, you swipe right. For those of you who don't know, swipe left means no, and swipe right means yes. So I wish I could have that power to swipe left and swipe right on the videos I watch on social media talking about the golf swing. Over this coming series, I'm gonna be watching some videos and just sharing you my ideas and what I think is good and what isn't good, just to really help you guys kind of watch good quality content. There's so much stuff out there that there's no regulations on what is good and what's not good. So the first video I have here is on Instagram. I came across this last week and like anything, the first time you put a video on, you one of the things I look for is the source credible. So this source of this video is credible. It's, um, it's Golf Digest. So Golf Digest, they must know what they're talking about. Surely Golf Digest know what they're talking about. Well, let's get into this video. So first impression was actually quite good. The um, the video looks quite good, it's good quality. Uh, there's the use of furniture indoors. So I thought this is potentially a good video. There's a pineapple there. Well, I don't know why it's there, but we'll find out in a second. Uh, there's a bit of text on there, the backswing cure. So I thought, Golf Digest, video looks good, well presented. There's a cure for the backswing. This has got to be good. So as we get into this video here, uh, the backswing cure, the first text that comes up is sliding back tilts the shoulders. And I think the use of having that table there is actually really good. It stops you from swaying your hips. As we continue this video, she talks about how they get steep. Now, she starts to put her arms across her chest here. I'm just showing you guys of how you should move in the backswing. And so she puts her arms across the chest. And as she does that, she grabs she, I don't know why it's a pineapple. She grabs the pineapple. And I was like, is this for real? And then I thought, this is Golf Digest. They've, put, they've definitely put some effort into this video. There's, there's good editing, good sound, good lighting. But she's, she's moving. If you, like this. And, okay, that's, it's a good way. If you want to pick up the pineapple, that's the best way to do it. If the table's there. But in the golf swing... I just wouldn't wouldn't agree. I don't see any golfer that makes a backswing like this. Any good golfer, that is. No good golfer does that. Men's tour, ladies tour, no good golfer does this in the swing. And it, what it also does is, if you look at the video, you see how her, her shoulders are kind of horizontal to the ground. So she's actually, she's pulling away. She has no side tilt in her swing. She has no extension, her body staying in flexion. This, is, this would be, first of all, the hardest swing to control, the contact and the low point of the swing. The more you move and sway, it make you do that. Second, it's, it's probably the weakest way to swing the golf club and create the least power. If I take a club, the more I stay flexed over and turn my shoulders horizontal, the harder it is to rotate and get, this, get my arm round. Now the best golfers, they have side tilt and extension, which we've talked about in other videos, but I don't want to go into too much detail here, but basically you don't see any golfer do this, pick up the pineapple. Now, if you actually look at her swings, I did some digging on this and found her website, and I'm just gonna bring up a picture of what she's demonstrating and what she actually does, and you can see that those two things are different. You can see that clearly, that they're, they're different things. So this is my, big problem with golf coaching is that sometimes explaining something and what you do are two different things. I think the actual move she's demonstrating is actually probably worse than what she's telling you not to do. And then to top it off, lead shoulder over trail knee. So she's saying we have to get our lead shoulder over the trail knee like this. And I think just, just that the wording and people's perception of what that says is, is really not gonna help the game of golf. If people are gonna watch this video and then actually go and do what she says, it's, this is the biggest problem. This is why golfers aren't getting better because they're not watching the 
the correct and the right information. So let's have a look at this video in a bit of detail on Instagram. So it's posted on the Golf Digest page on 14th of April. It's had over 40,000 views, 82 comments at the moment. So just looking at some of those comments, the first one that comes up, definitely not the drill I'd recommend to anyone. Don't do a drill that does not put you in the correct position. All this encourages is to lock the hip rotation and tilts as well as the proper shoulder tilts. Exactly what I was saying there. Good point, Wes. As I, I was demonstrating there, the best golfers, they, they side tilt this way in their backswing. They don't stay in forward flexion with no side tilt. No one does that. No one good anyway. Uh, someone's put here, this is awful. Uh, I'll, and someone's agreed with that. No, no, no. I actually did make a comment on this. I said, useful if the only task is to pick up the pineapple, but terrible for the golf swing. No golfer turns in flexion with zero side tilt. Someone said, doesn't that get the head moving too far off the ball? Yes, it does. That's why it's got four likes. Terrible, terrible demonstration. Uh, just, it goes on. And to top it off, Bob, here is the really sad part. Over 40,000 people have viewed this awful advice. I agree, Bob. I don't know why this is still on the Golf Digest page. I think that's one of the biggest problems we have here with golf coaching on the internet. What's good and what's bad? So as you probably guess, I would be swiping left on this video and it's interesting the first time i viewed this video I thought, oh, this is this is really good i literally have my finger on the if i was if i was doing the swipe left swipe right i'd literally have my finger on swiping to the right here this is it looks good there's a girl presenting which i, I, I think is great for golf coaching the video looks good the quality looks good the editing looks good but then the information is just not good and a video just goes to show that a video may look good may be presented well but it may not be the best information. So you've got to be careful guys, what you're watching out there. Some good, some bad. I'll be doing more videos on this, going into some good videos as well, because I think that's important as well. So golfers, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't really, please follow me on my other social media platforms, and we'll see you again soon for another video.